blessing, kids. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're doing well. We're praying for you. We miss you. But hey, at least we get to hang out in your house and learn about Jesus. Let's stand on up and let's celebrate the Lord because he has given us this day. Rejoice with him today. Amen. Here we go. God, when you draw near, you change the atmosphere. There's no shame anymore. The sin that held my heart, you have lifted off. I await the sin of love. Help other people and serve other people because that is what Jesus would do. Yeah. 
right? He would love them where they're at. And that's, that's, that can be kind of tough, but you know what's so cool is we can ask God for help. Mm -hmm. That's what's so cool. So let's say it together again on the count of three. One, two, three. People learn about Jesus when I love them God's way. Awesome, high five! Woo! Yes, okay. <laughs> so you guys, let's get back into worship and let's magnify him today. Here we go. You were matchless in grace and mercy. There's nowhere we can hide from your love. You were steadfast, never failing. You were faithful. Oh, creation is in awe of who you are. You, the healer of the sick. In the broken, you will comfort for every heart that mourns. Our King and our Savior forever. For eternity, we will sing of all you've done. For eternity, we will sing of all.
My name is Dot, and this is a time when we couldn't be loud. I don't know. Get your act together just doesn't sound very loving. Not when you say it like that. It's meant to be read like. Get your act together. That still sounds judgy. But it doesn't make sense. If we want people to know about the love of Jesus, shouldn't we shout it at them? I love Jesus and I want to be loud. God loves you, everybody. Clean up your life and get on board. Where did you get a megaphone? I keep it close to me at all times. Huh, smart. And you're right, we should share the love of Jesus with everyone, but we don't want to drive them away either. When we share Jesus with love rather than loud noises, people are more likely to listen. That's fire. Thank you, I rather think so too. No, I mean, I think that's a fire over there. <gasps> Addison! Addison! Come here! There's a fire! No, I was just working on the smoke alarms like Luke asked. Shouldn't they, shouldn't they be going off by now? <laughs> Were you guys making alarming noises in here? Quiet as can be. Great, they're working. <coughs> what, yeah. What do you, what do you think a smoke alarm is? Something that creates smoke when something alarming is happening. A smoke alarm? Nope. Hey, here's what I need you to do. Press that red button over there for me. Okay, got it, red button. But it has to be precisely at the same moment when I put these two wires together or it won't disable all the smoke alarms. Okay, got it, you can count on me, I got this. Okay, excellent, we'll do it on three. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, Are you sure you got this? I got this, I'm fine, okay. Two, three. <laughs> oh, whoops. Whoops! What was whoops? I might or might not have pressed the yellow button instead of the red one. <laughs> you accidentally up the decibels. If we speak too loud, the building will fill with smoke. <laughs> How do we listen? Hey guys, Ni Hao Ma. That's Mandarin for how are you? Can you guys guess where we are today? Would you like to tell them, Ashley? We're in Singapore. That's right, and it's so great to be in such a gorgeous city. I've been hearing a ton of stories of all the amazing things that God's doing in this part of the world. More and more people are becoming Christians every day in Singapore. The love and support from Connect HQ is just so helpful to us. Would you mind sharing with them what you were telling me earlier? Oh, I was just telling Ray that when I first became a Christian, I wasn't very respectful to people that didn't believe what I believed in. I thought I was better than them, and that's not love. And then I thought I could try to change the way that they acted, and that's not love. But when I came to this Connect field office, I learned that more people learn about Jesus when I love them God's way. I had to ask God to help me have His love for everyone. I thought that Ashley's story was so encouraging. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. People learn about Jesus when I love them God's way. I hope you guys are having fun and loving people God's way. See you soon. That's awesome, Ray's in Singapore. But can you fix this? Yes, but in the meantime, a very low tolerance for whispers. Well, the blanket should help dampen the sound while Edison works on the problem. I don't get it, Mike. This place should be full of people from those flyers I posted all over town. Instead of people, this place is full of smoke. Well, maybe they thought it was rude. Rude? <laughs> Sorry. Here, 
I think this will help. Watch this. The Bible tells us to love. But have you ever wondered how to do that? After all, how do we even know what love really is? The Bible talks a lot about love, and one of the people who loved best of all was John. That's because he was one of Jesus' very best friends. Jesus loved him very much, so if anyone knew about love, John did. John wrote a letter that we call the book of First John in the Bible. It says that love comes from God. Love is who God is, and only God can give us a new heart, a heart that knows Him and loves like He does. The person who refuses to love doesn't really know anything about God, because God is love. So when you know God, you know real love. And I'm not talking about the kissy kind of love you read about in books or see in movies either. This kind of love is different. This kind of love starts with God. Not that we once upon a time loved Him, but that He loved us. God loves us so much, and this is how we know it. God sent His only Son, Jesus, into the world so we could have a close friendship with God and know His love. God loved us first. He didn't wait for us to come to Him. He came to us instead. If God loved us like that, Shouldn't we love others like that too? When we love one another, we show what God is like. As we love others, His love becomes stronger and healthier and bigger inside of us. That's perfect love. That's the kind of love the whole world can see. So we can love others because we can show them the kind of love God has for us. So you see, whoever loves God must also love others. Loving God includes loving people. You can't love one without the other. You've got to love both. That's because God is love, real love. And that's what it's all about. Everybody knows that. When we love like God, we show other people what God looks like. When we share Jesus without love, people will only hear noise. So we don't have to be all caps about it? We should love loud, but only use words when we have to. I get it. 
Okay, I think we're ready, but I need your help. Okay. We can be loud again. But only when it's necessary. Oh, so that's all it is. That's all it is. When it detects smoke, it makes a really loud noise like this. Beep, 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 beep. Man, it feels good to make noise again. That sounds pretty annoying. It can be, but it saves lives. We just have to know when noise is appropriate. It's just like Mike said. We should love loud and only use words when we have to. If we share Jesus without love, it can sound like annoying noise. But if we share Jesus with love, we can save lives. Well, I'm going to put the right smoke alarms around Connect HQ. And I've got some flyers to fix. Hey there, my name is Dot. If we teach others about Jesus without love, we can seem irritating or rude. God is love. Love comes from Him because that's who He is. So when we love like God, we reflect the love of God and people see what His love looks like. We have to practice loving the way God does so His love grows stronger in us. If you think you're better than people because you know Jesus, or you yell at people because they look, think, speak, or act differently from you, that's not love. We should love loud and use words when we have to. Talking to people about Jesus with love is a sweet sound. People are more likely to trust you and listen. People who believe differently than you are still loved by God and still deserve your love and respect. Love them and trust God to use the words you say and the things you do to turn their hearts to Jesus. People learn about Jesus when I love them God's way. I hope you continue to live a life full of love. And remember, Connect HQ, is here to help you.